Earlier, we talked to Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. Let's go now to that interview. Folks, there's Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. Jeff, a while back, what a match you had with Motley. Yep. Probably the hardest match I ever had in my life. But I don't like it when things aren't my, going my way. Motley Cruz, you turn the tables on me. You turn the tables in a wrong way. You've got me mad now. I've stood around. I've listened to everything you had to say. I've did everything necessary. But when you turn around and you backstab me one way or another, and you treat, cheat me out of what's rightfully mine, that's when I get angry. Now I'm the one doing the challenging. I'm issuing a challenge to you, Motley Cruz. Get in the ring with me. This time, I'm going full force. Jumping Jeff Farmer. Now let's go to the ring. All right, we are back for another episode of SICHL Wrestling. We are continuing on with the final four matches of round two of the playoffs. Once again, starting with the World Conference. The St. Louis Spartans, who after a draw with the Philadelphia Fire Ants in round one, managed to make it into round two after winning that eight-man elimination match a couple of episodes ago. And St. Louis looking to turn that initial disappointment of the double countout into a championship around his waist. Moving into round two, again, we are going to have to see which World Conference team he is going to be up against. Always walking around with a chip on his shoulder. He's going to use that anger against But at this opposition. stage of the competition, there's no easy night. There's no easy matches. And they're only going to get tougher as you proceed through the playoffs. The St. Louis Spartans look ready. Look prepared for this no holds barred match. No disqualifications. No countouts. We saw some brutal matches on the last episode. And I expect we're going to see a lot of the same. The Spartans are going to be facing in this match the Reykjavik Riders. Again, another impressive performance in round one. And looking to duplicate that success here, showing off the logo as well he should. Icelandic flag proudly displayed on the jacket. Should be a great match. The Riders climb the ropes to let the crowd get a good look. He's physically and mentally prepared for the task at hand in his big time match. All right, let's stop hamming it up, Reckoning. We got a match to get to. Spartans versus Riders. There's, Fury. There's the bell. There's no holds barred match gets nice going. dodge from the Riders. These competitors needed to be got their issues. No holds Hits them with the spin no kick and the elbow. This is how they can fully express the contempt and animosity they have for one another. Ooh. Stomping away oh on the Spartans, pass. driving those knees into the small of the back over and over and over again. And now stomping him into the mat. That certainly wasn't pretty. The Spartans on the ropes. And right, the Riders taking advantage up. by twisting that Spot knee in an unnatural direction. Riders have him up and down for a quick sidewalk slam. Him down a little. Counters, this could be an Counter from the Spartans trying to get something going here. Has him up and dropped. Neck first off that top rope. And big suplex. 
perfectly executed. Out to ringside again, no count outs here, so not a worry, but Recky Vic decides to send him back into the ring anyway. He saw that one coming. And oof, missed on the flying tackle. He turns it around. Trading blows at center ring. And the Riders go for the pin. Slow start to that count by the referee. I don't think he would have got the three anyway, but uh, the slow count doesn't help. Riders just absolutely stomping away on the Spartans. And now the Spartans head to the corner and the Riders have a hockey stick. Oh, jabs it into the ribs. And the Riders knee lifts to the ribs. And the Spartans in a world of hurt here against Reykjavik. Had him up and oh! Knee to the face. Going for the early victory. One, two, and oh, I thought he might have had it. Two and a half, but the Riders feeling confident. Continuing to just stomp away on the Spartans and again right into the mat. I think he split him open that time. He did indeed. Another flying tackle miss by the Spartans. I don't even know if they know where they are at this point. Has him up and oh! Flatliner and now setting him up again. And the Riders once again. Knee to the face and that might be it. One, two, three. The easy victory for the Reykjavik Riders. Some superstars doing what they do best. The Spartans did a great job qualifying to get into the uh, second round. Maybe, maybe, maybe after that eight-man elimination match, there was just not enough left in the tank. Maybe he's, uh, maybe he's nursing an injury. Here is your winner. This was but regardless, your guys. winner. Reykjavik Riders, they are going to head on to the third round. Look, he's pointing at his waist. He knows what the goal is, and the goal is that Continental Championship. He wants to be the inaugural champion. And the only way to do that is to mouth through all the rest of these jabronis until he is the champ. Right, match number two, ladies and gentlemen. And out first, the Okanagan Sun Devils. Time to get a little spooky here, ladies and gentlemen. The flames are burning for the Devils. The fans booing. Well, a little bit of a mixed reaction. A mixed reaction from the crowd. Okanagan. Heading to the ring in elaborate fashion. He calls himself the standard bearer of this division and plans on proving Looking it for another win here in round two. But he is going to have a tough time of it, ladies and gentlemen a tough time because his opponent tonight from our nation's capital ladies and gentlemen and the Ottawa Slammers in at 200, at 68 pounds. a big Looking win in the first the round against the Nova Scotia Schooners everybody thought he was going to be the hero like this one. the hero of the SICHL for eliminating the Schooners but Nova Scotia found a way to wiggle their way back into round two. Who knows, a win here tonight and he may have another opportunity to face him at some point. But tonight he has to focus on the task at hand and that is defeating the Okanagan Sun Devils. No small task. The look of focus and determination. Look at the arms. Look at the arms on, this high level. on the slammers like tree trunks. 
And he is ready to go. Let's get to the action. Again, a no-holds-barred match. Anything goes, gentlemen. And there's only one rule in an There's the bell. They match. lock up. Or and the slammers. The oh! From that, this match is anything goes. Living up to and their to moniker already. For the traditional pinfall submission and now, rules, oh, clubbing no him across the Tradition face with those forearms. Right out the window. Stomp to the back. And now just tossing him around again. I think uh, a the strength advantage has to go to the Slammers here. Steel steps once again in play here. Okanagan uh, looking on cautiously as well he should. Steps slid into the ring as does the Slammers. They're going to lock up and the Slammers have him up. Into the turnbuckle then tossed into the middle of the ring. And now pounding his head into the mat. Okanagan, though, with the running clothesline. Has him up and over for the back suplex and the leg. A few mounted punches by the Devils. Big combination into, oh, a beautiful German suplex. Delivers the knee. knee to the face and the slammers decide to uh, take a powder. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Tosses Okanagan back in the ring. He's not done resting yet. And finally heads back in now, but Okanagan all over him. And now locks in the submission hold. Slammers and managed to power their way out of it, though. Irish whip by the Slammers. Oh, and a huge drop kick to the face. Wow. Okanagan reversed him into the shoulder tackle. I have to think that a notice qualification match favors the most heartless And now choking him. Referee can only stand by and watch as they notice qualification match. Only a one count on that pin. Another knee to the face. And Okanagan. Kind of a little creepy stare on the Slammers, but the Slammers respond with a huge clothesline into the corner. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. He steps foot in the ring again. And Slammers. Nice dodge. Reversed into a shoulder tackle. Uh, what a counter. counter by the Sun Devils. And oh! Vicious jawbreaker reversal. Those horns can't help, I'm sure, with a maneuver like that. One, two counts. Really had less than a second to could not get there. the three. Sun Devils. DDT. Head over heels goes the Slammers before rolling to the outside of the ring. There's no count outs in this one. Okanagan. Heading over. The Slammers grab a hockey stick and oh! Lock him right in the head and again. Slammers tossed into the ring. And Okanagan opts not to use the stick. Hits him with the counter. Has him up and oh! Seconds, it Into it's the submission back. hold, trying to make the big the man tap, submission. but punching his way out of it is the Ottawa does. Slammers. Big boot. Big boot. And. The Frankensteiner. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Once again, under the ring. What's he going to pull out this time? He's got a chair. Something we all know can be a devastating And oh. Face first into the chair. Pummeling him with the chair. Absolutely vicious. Each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. Irish whip. 
And oh! Huge power slam hooks the leg. Is that finally going to be enough? Two count only. Kick out from Okanagan. Hanging in there. I think he managed that kick out on pure instinct alone. This was the moment to capitalize on. That should have been the end. Knife edge chop. Irish whip into the ropes. Oh, and Sun Devils. Great maneuver there. Hanging onto the ropes. And oh, once again into the submission hold. I mean, his feet directly touching the ropes, but the referee has not spotted it. And so, the Slammers are going to have to fight their way out again. But again, those maneuvers take their toll over time. They lock up. Slammers have the Sun Devils up and dropped off the top rope. And, oh! Vicious back suplex. Chair in hand and the slammers. Going to work. And you can see he is feeling it now. Drops a heavy elbow across the chest. And again, just pounding the forearms right into the face of Okanagan who has to roll out of the ring with the slammers right after them, and he's going to grab more steel steps on the way. And boom, right across the back. Every ounce of momentum is now against him. In this situation, he has to get resourceful. Counter from the Sun Devils, desperately trying to get something going to salvage this match for them. Oh, slammers tossed hard into the barricade. And oof, shot right to the face. And a few more for good measure, why not? Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. And now thrown Slammers sent back inside the ring. Okanagan's gonna take the long way around. It has been an exhausting match for both superstars. And counter from the Slammers. And once again, the vicious back suplex. And a few more chair shots. Why not? That chair in rough shape. Hooks the leg, middle of the ring. No rope breaks here for Okanagan. This could be it. And indeed it is. The Ottawa Slammers moving on to round three. Again, a another Brutal, brutal match. We have upped the games in round two here with the no hold barred matches. Here is your winner. And your winner, the Ottawa Slammers. You cannot question the heart and determination of this superstar. Well said, Byron. Moving on to round three. Big cheer from the crowd. And let's move on to the next match. All right, match number three of the episode, this ladies and gentlemen, coming out first. From beautiful Havana, Cuba. The one, the only. El Presidente, it is the Havana Revolution. Trying to get the crowd fired up here. Weighing in at 250 pounds. Uh, letting us salute to their supporters. A mixed reaction from this uh, American crowd here in the SICHL arena tonight. Certainly the Americans that are in the crowd. The revolution. Into the ring. You can see the holster strapped to the uh, thigh. Uh, he was not allowed to bring his gun despite this being a no holds barred match. Uh, there was a formal protest from the Havana delegation, but uh, again, the rules committee stayed. They 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 they, they stayed true. They hung. They, they 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 drew a line in the sand at bringing firearms to the ring. 
no holds barred is not literally no holds barred. I mean, it's not a hold if you shoot someone, really. You're not really holding. You're holding the gun, but I, if, I, listen, the point is he wasn't allowed to bring it. The He's going to have to make do. Just exploded. And, his opponent. and his opponent tonight, ladies and gentlemen, straight from the strip right into your homes, it is the Las Vegas Aces. Making their way, I mean, listen, everybody loves a bit of Elvis, right? Everybody loves a little bit of Elvis, come on now. I mean, the fans clearly not, as they are booing the Aces. He says it's all about dominance tonight. But listen, you can't deny, look at those hip gyrations, ladies and gentlemen. The man's got moves. The Revolution versus the Aces. There's been some discussion. There's the bell. Exactly a no holds barred match. And means. the Revolution Corey, send the Aces into the it. corner. Just a fancy way of saying you can do whatever the hell you want. As long as you Big body slam together, and ring, not finish nuts, yet. Which is exactly on the middle rope and drops the elbow. Down. Hooks the leg already. Optimistic two pin. Down. Got a two count though in in, uh, in his defense. He won't allow himself to be embarrassed this early on. They lock up again, this time the Aces toss him to the apron. Take a couple of shots, and why not one more? And the Revolution out onto the ice. Aces grab the steel steps, but the Revolution's got to him first. Oh, I rake from Vegas. Turns the tables on Havana. And face first, off the ring apron. Once again, going for the steel steps. But the Revolution, once again, rushing over to get to him first. Back suplex onto that hard ice surface at ringside. Big headbutt. There's enough brill cream in that hair to, uh, I mean, it's like concrete, basically. And now face first into the top of the barricade, and they are slugging it out here at ringside, ladies and gentlemen. Aces have him up, and power bomb into the apron, and then swung around. Brutality on display here. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Aces once again with those steel steps. Listen, it's the siren call of those steel steps. No superstar can resist them. Into the ring they go. And Havana tried to get the legs out from underneath the Aces, but no dice. Aces with another headbutt. Rakes the eyes and then, oh my goodness. Striking a blow for capitalism. He's taking this to the outside now takes the opportunity to grab a shovel from under the ring. But the Revolution once again getting to him first. Off the ropes. Nice hip toss. Setting up. And suplex beautifully executed. And now choking him right in the middle of the ring. A referee can do absolutely nothing about it in a no disqualification match. Aces in the corner. And coast to coast for the Revolution. Oh! Kick to the ribs as I believe that the Aces were going to try and counter there in the corner. But no dice. Sent back into the corner again. Top of that turn Turned around and oh no, team. this can't be good news. What is happening here, ladies and gentlemen? If it lands, it's gonna be genius. Inverted oh my suplex, goodness! Inverted suplex, more. and he's not done yet. DDT. The DDT hooks the leg. A, an incredible maneuver. How on earth did the Aces kick out of that one? What a move! From the Revolution. Misses with the shovel. Aces have the revolution up. And dropped 
Off the turn, uh, sorry, off the top rope, rather. Shot to the chest. He fans off the attack. Into the corner, and the Aces decide to go grab again the steel steps instead of going for him in the corner. Again, I don't know what it is about the uh, about the steel steps, but the superstars love them. Havana's like, where'd you go? I'm waiting for you in here in the corner. He grew tired of his smug attitude. And the Aces making it worth his weight. And now, okay, Las Vegas showing Stop off a little bit. I mean, listen, he's from Vegas, the consummate showman. You have to expect it. And, oh, vicious, vicious neck break. Man alive. And Vegas has the shovel, but uh, taking a breath there. I think they're out of gas. This has been a long, brutal match. And oh, my goodness, only getting longer as they are trading blows with that shovel. The revolution eating a couple of punches here from the aces. Backbreaker into the face buster. Aces just stalking him, waiting for him to get to his feet, decide to help him out. And oh no, ladies and gentlemen, the shake. The rattle and the roll. Swinging neck breaker. All he has to do Hooks the leg. He kicks out Two so count man. only. I Kick out from the revolution. Las yeah, Vegas cannot man, believe it. He had a pinfall. And it's going to take composure now. Could just need one more big move. They lock up again. Irish whip by the aces. Oh my goodness. And the, cover. the spear. And that might, oh no, only a one count. Revolution are getting stronger somehow. Rolls out of the ring. And the aces. Finally decide to head out after him. Revolution waiting for him though, and boom. Slam to the ice. Revolution taking a bit of a walk here. And he goes into the ring. Back in the ring. Grabs the shovel. And heads back outside. He's outside the ring now. And the aces trying to clear the table, but Havana finally connects with that shovel. Stolen by the aces. Oh, my goodness. Absolutely brutal, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. Just over and over and over again across the midsection. Finally, Havana gets up. He's really slowly getting up. And you know what's next, guys? And Havana stealing his move. Doing a little shake, rattle, and roll of his own onto the ice. Swinging neck breaker. Taken down. His own move, a little bit of cultural appropriation from the Havana Revolution. The and he's got a kendo stick out from under the ring now. What a match. Unbelievable. Into the announcer's desk. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. And counter by the revolution. Into a DDT. No surprise that what we're witnessing is trending. Forget trending on social media. And Havana, oh, missed on the knee drop. Back up on their feet. Oh, rakes the eyes. And the aces up against the announcer's desk. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. DDT through the announcer's desk. This is a slaughter. You have to be Unbelievable. Quick return to the ring. Unbelievable. The fans chanting, this is awesome, and I am with them. 
The Aces finally somehow struggled to their feet. Take a good look Havana at waiting in the middle of the ring. And the Aces, though, hit him with the close. Ace is trying to steal. I mean, if the Aces steal this victory after being put through the table, oh my goodness. It's the Bay of Pigs all over again, ladies and gentlemen. Only this time, America wins. That is unbelievable. After taking a DDT through the announcer's desk, the Aces pull out the victory over the Revolution. Wow. I am flabbergasted, ladies and gentlemen. What a match. The Aces moving on. And uh, we're going to see a little victory wiggle. Uh, 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 speechless. What a match. That might have been the best SICHL wrestling match we've had thus far, ladies and gentlemen. That is up there. That is up there. And the Aces right in front of Havana with the final disrespect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on to the main event. And the final match of round two. Coming out first, the Calgary Mustangs. Again, the fans going wild for the Mustangs. A tough, tough competitor. A big win in round one over, I believe, the Fredericton Express. If I recall correctly. A very high and ready for, for anything. Ready for Would love to see a belt around that man's waist. But he is going to have to get through, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, finding, points. exploiting that loophole in his contract, which allows him to be the main event. We're working, the lawyers are working on it. I think that by round three, we should have this and X. But for now, we are stuck with this man in the main event. It is the Nova Scotia Schooners eliminated by the Ottawa Slammers in round one and then resuscitated by winning that eight-man elimination match to get back into the playoffs. Again, winning by pulling out a pair of brass knuckles and sucker punching his opponent. But to be expected from the fanciest of Commodores, the Nova Scotia Schooners. I mean, already, listen, I think he came into this, he came into this tournament as uh, the ultimate heel as far as uh, the boys in the back are concerned and the fans. And he has lived up to that reputation. He has not earned himself any favors from the fans or from the superstars. The wheel going for another spin. Is he going to find a way to continue on? Again, no holds barred. So you got to think that he is particularly dangerous in a match with no rules. But the Calgary Mustangs, no slouches. Should be a great, great battle. The Schooners versus the Mustangs. Here we go, no holds There's the bell. The is usually only reserved for the most and the Schooners with a sharp blow to the back. And another sends him to the apron. The local but the Mustangs trying to fight their way back into the ring. The schooners send him immediately to the map, though. And a little shot to the face. Irish whip. And power slam. power slam onto the logo. Hooks the leg. Two count already. Wow. He's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. What kind of headspace? The schooners pulling out all the stops here so far in the early going. 
ruthless one, Cole. You can't show any remorse about going nice after Nice dodge from the Mustangs. Turning the tables, Irish whip, and a big elbow to the face of the Schooners. Oh my goodness. Stomping away, the Schooners get to their knees, and the Mustangs with a big forearm right to the face. Mustang's gonna head underneath the ring. What is he gonna pull out there? A shovel. We saw that put to good use so far tonight. And the Schooner's taking no chances. Head to the outside here, but Calgary right out after him. The fans loving every moment of this. Finally, the Schooner's with the counter. But Calgary sent him face first into the ring post. Didn't quite catch all of it, I think, but painful all the same. Stomping away on the schooners. Hard into the barricade. Nova Scotia tries for a counter, but unable. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Mustangs go for the shovel again and right over the He's noggin of the Schooners. The Schooners flailing, just desperately trying to get out of this corner. But the Mustangs all over him him the like a bad suit. Uh, and oh! Dropped across the barricade, and the Mustangs feeling confident. Continuing to work on the arm. Drops the knee the across the arm of Nova Scotia. And a few words there on behalf of the fans. They are cheering loudly. Pressing the foot to the back of the head. And stomping the head. The Schooners in a heap of trouble right now. Mustangs toss him to the ramp. Spotlight is on them, but reversal. Again, no count outs, so they can fight out there all they like. Mustangs up off the ground and fighting. Right at the base of the ramp there. Again, that is raw concrete right there. You can see no padding at all. And then once you get to the ramp, it is pure corrugated steel. Another big elbow drop from the Mustangs. And another. Fans are loving it. You can see them cheering. He's in a bad way, guys. This has just been an absolute The Schooner is absolutely getting shellacked here in this match. Oh, right onto the bare concrete. And he is now in a discouraging spot. This is where his fortitude will be put to the test. Counter from the Schooners. And oh. Neckbreaker drops the knee. And the Schooners desperately trying to get something going here. They have been behind the eight ball since the bell. Oh, grinding his face into that bare concrete. These superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters to them right now. Another elbow drop. Has him up on his feet. Counter from the Mustangs, but some vicious knife edge chops. And a big right. Drops him to the ground. Oh, splits him open. Splits him open with that knee drop, and the Schooner is telling him to get up and then having a few words with the fans in the front row as well. More knife edge chops. And boom. Oh. But here come the Mustangs with the backbreaker. And finally making their way slowly back towards the ring again. No count outs, but not a false count anywhere. It's going to have to happen inside the ring if one of them wants to win this match. And now twisting the head of the Schooners. Another elbow drop. 
an incredible, incredible match on a night full of incredible matches, ladies and gentlemen. He can't just think of riding this out. He has to get on offense. Finally, the Schooners tossed back in the ring. Are we going to see this match? Finally won the Mustangs. Setting him up. Has him up and drops face first. Split open. Hooks the leg. This could be it. No. Two count only. The Schooners hang in there. And now the Schooners lock in the submission hold. Is he going to make them tap? No. A counter from the Mustangs. And now the Mustangs have him up and down for the power, power bomb. Yeah, he's showing no signs of ending this assault. Schooner's in the corner. Oh, vicious spear to the midsection. Outside the ring now. And the Mustangs fishing around under the ring. He's got a table. Oh, my goodness. If he puts the Schooners through a table, this crowd, the, I mean, it's going to blow the roof off of the SICHL arena. Stomping away to the midsection of the Schooners, pounding away on that split open forehead. And again, targeting. The forehead. Going for it again. And has him up and boom. A second time. That's got to be it, ladies and gentlemen. That has to be it. One, two, three. And the Schooners are defeated. The Calgary Mustangs, the heroes of the day, heading on to season three after another vicious brutal match and next episode ladies and gentlemen you are going to see that man potentially he's definitely moving on to season three I haven't figured, round three i haven't figured out how we're doing the next episode well don't worry about it there's going to be some great great wrestling coming up for you in round three so keep an eye on the discord and we will see you there.